Patula, brilliant play. Patula with a shot, and what a goal! Patula Rapat! Take a bow! It is going to be Mehmet, 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 oh my! <laughs> he scored from that free kick. Well, I was confused who was going to take it. Talk about quality. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social with me Ash Ashe from Footballita and of course this show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at the Football Association of Singapore, Singapore Premier League, our Tampanese hub and of course Footballita and today it's a special on you footballer, young footballers in our league and I'm joined by two very familiar faces if you've been watching our SPL. We have Fatula Rahmat from Tanjung Pagar United <laughs> joining us. Hello Fatula. Hello, Hello guys. And also I'm his... delighted to be here. Yeah, thanks for well, thanks for coming. And also Iman Hakim from Tampanese Rovers. Hello guys. Both of them are fan favorites, you know, and a lot of you all have sent in questions. So thank you for your questions. We'll get to that in a bit. But you know, let's get down to today's show. Firstly, guys, you know how are you all both doing? <laughs> I think I'm good. I just recovered from sickness, right? So hopefully this game I'll be able to uh, help the team. Yeah, and the Jaguars have been, you know, great with their recovery after six games, right? So we'll talk about that in a bit. Iman, how about yourself? Enjoying the football so far? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, so far, we um, have been in a good form so far and I hope we can continue this form. Yeah, speaking of good form, congratulations on that 2-1 win over Sailors. You know, Tampanese, of course, coming back after a very interesting last game. If you guys remember, the last time you guys met, a lot of controversy. So, um, how do you feel about that victory? How do you and your teammates feel there? Uh, we feel really good, obviously, to finally um, get a win because after like eight encounters with them, we finally managed to get a win. And of course, talking about the previous three matches against them, I think we were quite unfortunate not to get away with a point, at least, um, because I thought we played really good football and I thought that we deserved much more than just like um, not getting any points at all. Yeah. And the fans were really happy. Since we're here at Tampanese Hub, just to let you guys know, we can still see the boards and absorb the, the vibe of the game. I saw all the fans coming out, you know. We'll talk about that in a bit. But Fatula yourself, also a victory for you guys against Ballestia, right? Your thoughts on, on that victory after, like, we, talk, we talked about it a long time, right? Yeah, so I'm very happy for this win. I think the team did really well to get the three points because we didn't win for, like, the past six games after a five-game straight loss, you know. So, the two weeks ago, we drew with Haogang. I think that was a like, stepping stone for us to continue to um, play well and then achieve more points. Huh? Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, you guys still have a few more games left you know, to slog it out and I'm sure you all will do your best. So, what are you guys going to do, um, especially with the upcoming games? What will be your game plan, Iman? Um, I think for now, our, we, we put the game against Sailors aside and we focus our next one which is against Tanjung Baga. <laughs> and um, we know that playing against them um, is not always easy because um, defensively they are very organised and um, we always try to find ways on how to break, break down their defence because as a team they are very very strong and very disciplined and um, they are also very dangerous on the counters with um, they are foreigners and also with their back line trying to fit their strikers. Yeah. Atula, for yourself, what is, has been your highlight you know, from the last 25 weeks of Singapore Premier League football with Tanjung Pagar? You're talking about my best performance? Yeah, or? your favourite highlight, your personal uh, highlight. I think it will be the first game of the season against Alvirex when we won 2-0. Yeah, I played centre-back on that game because I think the defenders were like some of them suspended, then some of them had injuries, so I had, I had to take up that responsibility of being at the back. So yeah, I think we, I did pretty well in terms of shaping the team. Lah. Clean sheet too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so great stuff. You know, hopefully you have more wonderful moments as well to come. Um, okay, so before we had this show, I mean, of course I invited Iman and I've heard as well that you guys have a, a bit of a friendship of the field. Can you tell me more about how close you guys are? <laughs> uh, I think we both started football at a very young age. Um, I, I could remember like uh, playing against him a couple of times in youth tournaments, and I will always remember playing against him because he has a like very distinct <laughs> uh, 
playing style <laughs> and playing against, playing against him was not always easy and of course um, as we got older we um, got into the same team and became teammates um, I think at like the age of 11 or 12 yeah. and I think during our time in sports school that's when we really bonded and really got close Okay, would you agree about your friendship with him? Yeah, yeah, at the start, I think we were like 8 or 9, wow. we were always playing against each other. Yeah, so me against him every time and then yeah. the match will always turn out to be like a hard one, you know? Because okay. his team always has incredible players okay. and then my team will be like all those... Like, underdogs? Uh, underdogs, yeah. Mm. So yeah, it was always hard to play against him. And then we grew up together in sports school. We were in boarding school together. Wow. Yeah, so we shared a lot of memories. Like going to training outside together. Wow. Going back okay. late. Yeah, that's all. Going back late, yeah. uh, but it's all, all part of the process and it's very nice to see that you guys have bro both playing in the Singapore Premier League at the moment. Okay guys, um we will talk a bit about your pro uh, your journey as a professional footballer in a bit. But now we wanna go to a bit of fun stuff because we always get questions from the fans, so I hope you guys are ready for the questions from the fans. Okay, we'll start with Iman <coughs> first. Um Question. Uh, okay, let's see. This one is uh, okay. Um, what can okay from uh, Slut Kif? She or he wants to know what can we expect from Iman in five years, five plus years. Um, I think that's a tough one because it's not easy to predict your future. But um, hopefully, I would like to see myself in the national team and to also. Um, get some regular minutes in the um, main team, in the main squad and also to uh, become an important player in the team. Yeah. Thanks for that and of course we wish you all the best, you know, because I think you still have a long way to go, so no worries about that. Fatula, from Izwana Bushama, what is the one advice that the coaches at Tanjung Paga have shared with, with you which you can share with the others out there as well? I think they have always emphasised to me about uh, like playing my best even though like I'm still young you know like don't fear the senior players uh, instead work with them like work to their strengths and weaknesses so that we can improve together as a team yeah okay that's a good one from Rising Stacks uh, of course they support Tampines Rovers to Iman who's your best friend at Tampines Rovers? my best friend um, to be honest I don't really have a best friend because <laughs> because I hang out with um, a lot of them, yeah, like yep. um, uh, um, Yuen, like Daniel Ilya, uh, Mark when he when he's still at Tampines, but now he's enlisting soon. Yeah. yeah, Andrew as well. So yeah, I don't really have like a best friend, but I hang out with all, um, all of them. Yeah. Okay, so all of you who are wait, you know, hoping for a call out, yeah, he's a he's a people's <laughs> man. Huh? <laughs> okay, Fatula, you've got a question from your teammate who was actually on the show as well, Ryan Sanizal. I have to ask you this. He said, Can you give me a ride on your orange Vespa? You have an orange Vespa? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the only one in the league that has an orange Vespa. And yeah, he keep making fun of me for it. Yeah. What? But I always give him a ride, so <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so, how long have you had this orange Vespa? And is that like your. My iPod? only bike. Yeah. Your only bike. I rode it since I passed my class 2 bit. Yes, class yeah. 2. So it has been a year and a half, maybe. Yeah. And so why orange though? Is orange your favourite colour? Uh, actually, I I got a bike from my brother. But then my <laughs> cousin gave it to me. So, because he's not using it anymore. So oh. I just use the orange Vespa, you know? Yeah. Okay, I mean, you guys, if you see an orange Vespa on the road, you know it's Fatula from Tanjong Baga because it's very rare, you know, like the Vespa and orange. Okay, Ryan, I'm sure he's not going to give you a ride after this. Okay, now we've got a question about, you know, as you all are young players, I think a lot of those who are curious about how they can get scouted. So, um, Ryan181208, that's a long username. <laughs> you want, he wants to know, Iman, how can a young player get scouted to play in the Singapore League? I know you guys went through systems, but... Do you have maybe some advice? Um, personally, I'm not so sure how the system works, but because um, my first club was at LBRX, and how I got scouted was like, um, at that time I was playing for the national under 18, national team under 18, and 
um, the head coach at that time, um, KG Shigetomi, he came down to watch our training sessions. And then um, after a few sessions, I think he came up to me and Yuen um, to ask for our um, phone number so that he can give a call and um, ask about ask about um, whether we are interested in yeah, joining. Okay. So that is how usually how it works, right? You start from all these games and I guess academies as well is another way yeah. to get scouted. Okay, um, back to you, Fatula from Pooper. Who's your best friend in Tanjung Pagar? Hmm. <laughs> My best friend would be Nafal Ilham. Yeah, because we always do things together. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, we usually spend time together lah, in the changing room. Other than that, Zafan, because he likes to disturb me. I know things yeah. that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, actually, like, we bond a lot with the senior players also. So I think we are quite close to each other. Is there any uh, prank that you guys always like to play? You know, before a game or something that you can share that is PG, you know? Uh, I don't think we play pranks on each other, huh? but more of like disturb each other, okay, you know? Okay, disturb ah. Yeah, but not before game days lah, because everybody is focused, you Everybody know? is like intense yeah. and like, you know, game game face. <laughs> okay, um, Iman, from your boy Arfan, who was your football idol growing up? You can say local or...? I've always watched um, Xavi and Iniesta. Um, and then for my local idol, it will be Shadan and Haris Harun. Yes. Because I think they are really good role models to learn from in the midfield. And I've always wanted to try and emulate some of their playing style and um, skill moves. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one as well. You know, great uh, players that you've chosen over there. Fatula from Double Render, what's your goal for next year? Okay, so my goal for next year would be to contribute more to the team because this season it was quite hard for me to get an assist or even a goal. So yeah, hopefully next season I'll contribute more and then play better. Yeah. Okay, another question from Na Keep. Okay, Iman, how do you manage time with school and football? Um, I think um, it's all about time management. Like, um, the question says itself, when it's time to study or do your homework, then you really have to put your focus and effort into um, studying and um, doing your homework. Lah. And then when it's time to enjoy your football and focus on training, then you give your best in trainings and um, enjoy your games or whatever. Yeah. And so make sure like, that you, yeah. you file your reflection journal as yeah. well, since you all are from RP. I <laughs> still cannot believe they still have this RJ thing. Okay, um, Fatula, for you, this one I want to know as well. Anik Ryan29 says, Who inspired you to play football? So how do you get started you know, in, in, in the beautiful game? Actually, I was just playing like under the void deck um, when I went to a wedding. And then suddenly my uncle saw me playing and then he scouted me to his academy. Ah, yeah, what and academy then, was that? Uh, Global Football Academy. Yeah, so I went to his trainings and then by the next year, I got into the JCOE and then from there, I continued all the way and I never looked back. Wow! Yeah. So remember guys, if you want to be scouted, play football at a wedding in the void deck. Now that's actually a very good story. Yeah. I have to say, why were you not focusing on the wedding? Don't know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I was eight, so yeah. You were, yeah. yeah, you know what, when you're kids, right? Yeah, yeah. actually, it's pretty cool, okay. That's a good story, actually. Um, okay, um, Iman, for yourself, right, I'm sure that you know, um, you've seen some of the posts that your fans uh, do for you. Have you seen some of the, the videos and the photos that some fans do? Yeah, some, some of it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some requests here as well. Um, do you know who is like uh, Ian? He's your biggest fan. He always posts about you on Instagram. Yeah, I think he's the, like, he's the um, owner of Rising Stacks. Yeah. Um, and I first knew him when we launched the Tampanese Prime T-shirt, he came down ah. yeah, and then he was telling me that um, he liked me as a player and yeah, it's nice to have, fans, um, right? yeah, to have fans that look up to you because you were once like them yeah. and then um, he's always asking when's my next match and always updating with if he's coming for our next match so yeah, it's nice to have fans. Yeah. And speaking of fans, the Batman wants to know how much do the players love the Batman, you know, he, he 
I think you can see from um, Boris expression <laughs> every time he scores, he's, he's always looking out for the fans, he's always celebrating with the Batman and yeah, you can tell that the players love the Batman and um, it's not only just the Batman, every match there's always like different costumes. Marvel yeah. costume, we're talking about it as well. Wow. I think recently I saw the Robin yeah, yes. and then I saw like the Money Heist um, costume as well. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's so really, hot, la. I don't know how yeah. they do it, you know. Just kudos to all these fans to come on a match day and wear the costumes throughout. So, yeah, so yeah. It's really nice to see the fans being creative and um, supporting their team as well. Yeah. yeah, fantastic and great for you guys as players as well. Um, Fatula from SBB Shabu, why the mushroom hair? <laughs> I mean, since young, I had this hair, so I just <laughs> go with the flow, you know? Go with the flow. No, no, um, you know, plans to change the hairstyle or anything. When I grow older, yes. maybe, yeah? <laughs> or when I go in this. Because his question is, any tips to be a star like you? I mean... <laughs> I have no comments for this. <laughs> Okay, anyway, it's all banter between teammates. Okay, since you guys are young players, I wanted to guys, you guys' um, thoughts as well. Some of the challenges you guys face as young players and how you overcome or are overcoming it. Iman, for yourself. Um, I think as young players, we always have a tenden tendency to rush our like, development. And I think um, it's important to understand that development is not always linear. So, um, every individual develops differently and at a different rate. So that's one thing that um, I've learned a lot um, to understand that things take time and I have to be patient with my uh, progress. Yeah. Okay, that's great advice. And for yourself, Atula? I think same like him because uh, that when I was 16 or 17, um, like Iman and Ryan were all like playing one year above. Above you guys. Yeah, and then, I wasn't, so I felt like demoralized. But then at the same time, I also think back, hey, like if he can do this, why can't I? You know. So I kept pushing, and then pushing. finally got my way into the SBL team. Ooh. Yeah. Inspiring stuff, guys. And you know, speaking of inspiration, just a word of advice from you guys to all the young players out there who want to be in your place and play in an SBL club. Iman. Personally, I think it's. Um, important to just play as much as you can when you are young, when you have um, a lot of time. Because for me, um, I enjoy football not because of the fame or money or anything, but because of the sport itself, because of the game itself. So um, for me, if you want to make it um, big in football, you have to set clear goals, um, put in the work and as well as enjoy the work, yeah, embrace the moment. Great stuff. So goal setting and enjoying and not being stressed, right? I would say take it easy, right? But to love for yourself as well. What's your advice for you know the young kids out there? Yeah, I think you have to play more games. You know, like when you are younger, so you will, so when you grow older, you will adapt to this kind of like competitions and then the high intensity. And then when you are young, <coughs> I think you have to set some goals for yourself also. Like, doesn't mean you grow older, then you must set uh, targets, you know? So just set your goal, what you want to be next year, um, which club you want to play for, like... So, when they are young, I think they have COE leagues, you know? Yes. Yeah, so try to go for, like, trials and then make their way up slowly, you know? Not, um, you don't have to rush uh, your development. Ah, this is really sound advice, Fatula. Thank you very much for that, Iman as well, for sharing all of that. And before we go, I just wanted to ask Fatula for yourself, has it been uh, challenging trying to break into the first team for you? You know, and how do you uh, deal with that? Yeah, because yeah, um, I was from Tamilis actually, Tamilis uh, first team. But then I didn't get my playing time there. So I was thinking that maybe I need to change some things to, in order for me to break through, you know. And then uh, Tanyu Baga contacted me. And then I think that was the moment for me to uh, pursue my dreams and then achieve more targets. Yeah. Uh, are you happy with where you are now? Yes, I am happy. Okay. <laughs> well, you still have a long way to go. Yeah, Both of yeah. you are very young. 
Yes, you know, football is, is quite an ageist sport, but you know, sometimes you know, the older you are as well, the more mature you get, as I've seen in some of our national players. Iman, um, of course, before we go, I just want to get you know you guys to share a bit of messages for the fans out there, you know, who watch the SPL. Iman, for yourself. Um, I would like to say that um, me, together with uh, the Tampines players, we always appreciate the support that we receive from the fans because um, it's incredible the the amount of effort and time they put in to come to our matches, be it away or home. And it's, I know it's, it's not easy to always you know, stick to your team because me being an Arsenal fan, sometimes it can be difficult as well to try and um, support your team when um, things get tough. And yeah, we always appreciate your support, be it in the good times and the bad times. And we will always try to give our best. Yeah. Well said, Iman. Okay, and Fatullah, for yourself, what message do you have for the STL fans out there? Uh, thank you guys for always supporting us. Um, the Jaguars Force, uh, our families, we really appreciate your support in coming down to, our, to the stadiums and also uh, cheering us with, uh, in times of need. Yeah, we may not always get the result we want, but we always play our best every game. Well, I have to say that despite only being 20, I think both of you, you all are really wise beyond your years. So, Thank you so much, Iman and Fatullah, for joining me today in a very special episode of SPL Social. Like I said, we're at the end of the season already, so you know, get your comments in, share the video, let me know who else you want to see on the show. Thank you so much, Iman and Fatullah from Tampanese and Tanjung Paga for joining me today in SPL Social. And of course, for more football and SPL, do follow us um, on the Facebook page of the Singapore Premier League. And of course, I'm Ash from Footballita, and I'll see you guys soon.